so today I'm going to be doing something kind of different. We are going to be building an amusement park using only used rides. So here I have a bunch of tabs of, uh, of some used ride websites, and we're going to find the best rides to put into a park. So here I have a Google Doc that I'm using to basically catalog what we find, what I find. So we have uh, one t category for roller coasters. Minimum I have is four. That would include one from each category, a kitty fam or family coaster, a uh, thrill coaster, and a high thrill coaster. Uh, then we have uh, kitty and family rides. So that would be like Hampton kitty rides, Imperla, uh, like a, a Nebula's, I guess would be the highest in that. And then thrilling flat. So that would be like KMG stuff or a Zimperla Endeavor. So we'll start with Rides For You. This is a website that I've been using for quite a while, just looking at random stuff. So good. They're all used equipment category. Uh, I don't know how many page. Now they have 84 listings so far. So yeah, we'll see what we find. So the first one here would uh, is a hammer drop tower. So this is. Uh, like the SPF Visa Strike You Up, I believe that's called. I wouldn't, I personally am not going to include this because I feel like it would be too low capacity for a park unless it would be an upcharge. And if it was, since it's a kiddie ride, I don't think maybe many people are going to want to pay for an upcharge attraction. But here's another ride that I am going to include. This is a merry, go, uh, just a merry go round. Uh, San Antonio Roller Works. I've never heard of them, but it's a trailer mounted ride. So it would be, it, it's not a ground mount like what you would see for most rides, but uh, I think it could work as if we would give it an overhaul, some new paint on, uh, the, I don't know what to call this, banner or whatever, uh, to make it look more presentable and also cover up this area down here where the, uh, where the, there's a gap between the platform and the ground and you would have a nice looking carousel. It also comes with an, this one says it also comes with the Nasuzu truck, which is a Japanese cab over. Uh, but that wouldn't be needed for our purposes because it would be turned into a ground mount. Okay, I have it written down now. Uh, before I go any further, I would like to say if the audio sounds kind of weird, there's an air show tomorrow and there's a bunch of F-18s and a C-117 going around practicing. So that could mess up the audio. So if there's a bunch of cuts, again, I am sorry for that. Um, but here's, here's uh, another ride that I would... I think we could use, if I could get it to, to open, nah, never mind, I'll just open it in this, but it's a Wisdom Rides Dragon Widen Coaster, but, well, looking at it more, I don't think I would want to use this because it's just, uh, it's the, uh, the triangle layout, so that's, um, it, it's a power, basically just a powered coaster, it goes around in a triangle, I don't feel like many people would ride this if it was a permanent park, so I think I'm going to skip on that. And here's one that I am going to include. It's called G-Force. This one is currently owned by, I think it's Bates Bros of Ohio. It's an AR, It's a, an ARM ride. It's seen here, it's trailer mount. So this one is currently selling for $400,000. I would include this in our thrilling flat rides category. So we'll add this. And here is another, actually two that I'm going to include. So this one is an Eli Bridge Scrambler. This one, it says the manufacturer is unknown, but it's pretty obvious that this is an Eli Bridge model. So this one, I believe, is this one is owned by a like a, a CN75 type place. I think it's in can, either Kentucky or St. Louis because I remember seeing the uh, website for it. But this one, I think, originally operated at Dino's Wonder Wheel Park in Coney Island, which is in New York. So. 1955-ish around that around that time uh, scrambler. So we're gonna include this because every park seems to have a scrambler. So, and here's the second one. So this one it looks like uh, this is the one that's at um what's a, what's the one with Gale Force? Uh, Playland's Castaway Cove in New Jersey. So this is a technical park. Uh, I forget the the actual model of it. I'll just call it the Squadron 33, which is what its name is. Uh, so this one is, again, a ground mount. It does look like a carnival ride, but it's listed as a ground mount. So I don't I don't really know, but uh, this one's selling for $550,000. So we're going to add this to what would be our Thrilling Flats category. So here is another one that I'd be possibly interested. I'll open this one in a new tab because I don't know if I'm going to want to add this yet. But it is a freestyle ride. So this one does... It, this is listed as KMG. 
that could have been who did the modifications, but this is actually a Chance Rides Trabant, uh, Trabant style ride. This one, I believe, actually operated at Alton Towers for a year or two as part of their, like, traveling rides rotating program, whatever. I don't know what it's called. I don't know much about UK parks, but I believe this operated there. And it says it's located in the U.S., but this was a, uh, w this was located in the U.K. for a while. So, I don't know if I'm going to want to add this yet. Depends on what else I come across, but I am going to leave it as a possibility. And here is another ride that I will look at. Actually, two of them. So, the first one, oh, that's the wrong one. The first one is an SBF ride spinning coaster. This one looks like it's the one at Waldemir. Don't know if it's uh, going to, that's the exact model it is, or if, um, or if it's a new, like a new ride. See if I can click on a picture here. Oh, and, and Ready Thrill Park. So this one was in, located in Florida. I think Destin Park or something like that. But, uh, we will add this one as the kitty coaster. And this is another one that I'll keep open as a possibility. This is an SBF Visa Cyclone Coaster. Uh, basically, uh, a newer version of the Pinvari Zyklon. Uh, this one shows 2022 and a ground mount ride, so I'll keep this one open again as, uh, like a possibility along with the freestyle. This one is going for a million dollars, so I don't, it, it might be cheaper to buy an older Pinfari that has, uh, that's a larger layout, but we'll see. Okay, so the next ride I found is this Skywheel. Again, this one for some reason is listed as an ARM, but it is, uh, a Chance Rides model, I believe. Uh, so this one I am going to add because it's an, a pretty rare ride and I'd like to be able to, if this was a real park, it would be a good, uh, drawing point for not only coaster enthusiasts, but families that want a good view. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. So this is another one that I'm going to pass on. I looked at it a bit more and this is a Huss Rides trailer mounted Frisbee. So this is the same one as the former Revolution at Six Flags Great America and that it's now in the parking lot of uh, Niagara Amusement Park and Splash World. But these are getting increasingly rare, but that's the problem. They're getting rare so that in the uh, I don't believe Huss supplies parts for them anymore, so I am going to pass on this. But the next one is a Chance Ride Skydiver. So I know, like I just said, parts would be a problem for this, but I am going to add it because, again, along the same lines of the uh, Skywheel, it's an increasingly rare ride, and I think it would be a good uh, drawing point for for uh, actually a lot of people because this would be, at least to my knowledge, the only uh, permanent skydiver that would be in a, like a permanent park. So, I add this. And kind of along the same lines of the strike you up I found earlier. This is a trailer mounted SNS Worldwide um, frog hopper. So I think I am actually going to pass on this because I'd want to look for a ground mounted version because the less trailer mounted versions the better because if a lot of times if it's a trailer mounted park a trailer mounted ride in a permanent park people are going to get the idea that it's unsafe because it's a carnival ride a lot of people think that they are unsafe. But Another drop tower that I found, this is an SNS Worldwide Double Shot. I believe this one operated at Playland's Castaway Cove before they upgraded to their permanent double shot when they replaced the uh, their Flitzer and Looping Coaster. To They replaced it with Gale Force and uh, Wild Waves, I think it was called. I think it's called their, their, uh, their Miller Coaster that wraps around Gale Force. But uh, this one, I believe, was around... I think it's the a bit taller than the one at Indiana Beach, which is 80 feet. So I'm, this one, I'm guessing, is around like 100, 120 feet. But uh, it's a good size drop tower, so we're going to add this. So this is another website I use. This is used, uh, actually, amusementrides.com. So this company sells a decent amount of used rides. And they, they usually have some very good stuff. So this is what I'm interested in the most. Okay, so we're on here, and there's actually... Uh, a decent amount of rides that I'd want to look at. So this one looks like it's the one at Over Texas. Their Superman Tower of Power, I think it's called. Uh, it's an SNS Triple Tower, but we did already add an SNS Drop Tower, so I think I'm gonna skip on that. Uh, there's a free, uh, KMG Freakout, which I don't think I want to add because again, it's a ground mount, 
and it would be, I mean, it's a, a trailer mount, and I think it would be increasingly hard to make that look like it is a permanent ride. But here's another one. This is a Pinfari ZL47. This is a Cyclone Coaster. And this one, I, I don't know the price of it because this website does not list prices usually. But this one looks to be in, in decent shape. And it, these Pinfaris a lot of times go around to uh, different permanent parks. So I think I'm going to add this one and we'll skip out on the SPF Visa mo model. And if we scroll down a little bit, there is another ride that I want to look at. So this is a uh, Hus Pirate. It's a swinging ship, basically. So this one would actually be able to get through a lot of people. So this one would get through 1350 an hour. It is a ground-mounted ride. Uh, as you can see by this, if I zoom in, it looks like some kind of European park. I don't think that... that I mean, that looks like a roller skater back there, but I feel like I've seen that at a, some kind of European park. So, uh, we're going to add this one. Okay, so I went around and opened some tabs for some rides that I'm looking, I would be in, possibly interested in. So, this is a Ride of Engineers Switzerland, or RES. Um, like basically, a Hus swing around. I feel like I'm going to pass on this due to, uh, because it is a new ride. It is a new ride, and... Per the, per the rules of what we're doing, I can only use, use rides. But here is another one that I'd, I'm interested in. So this one is the former Rocket from a, a park in, um, I think it's a park in Switzerland, if I remember correctly. Uh, this one was, uh, I think, New Beast or Black Hole at Alton Towers. Uh, it's a Schwarzkopf Jetstar 2 coaster. This one was actually upgraded to be able to run with two car trains. The normal Jetstar 2s only run with single car trains. So, based on that, I believe this was the former Black Hole ride. So, uh, I am going to add this. I'm actually going to replace the Pinfari Zyklon with the Jetstar, because the Jetstar, to me at least, is a bigger draw. And here is another family ride that I'm going to add. This one, actually... Actually, because of that uh, giraffe thing, I'm not going to add that. That creeps me the hell out. But uh, another one that I'm going to add, this is a Hus Troika 2. So the same type of model as Jake Rattle and Roll at Kings Island or uh, Troika at Cedar Point. Those are Troika 1s, but um, the Troika 2 is the same same basic idea. Uh, this is a ground mount, and this one gets you through 1,470 people an hour. So again, a very high capacity ride, just like the Hus Pirate. And here is another one that I'm going to add. This is a Intamin half pipe coaster. This one was at Sarkiniemi, I think. This is the prototype. So, actually, thinking about it a bit, I don't know if I will add it because this was the prototype. And uh, for some videos I watched, apparently this one had a lot of downtime and it was very unreliable. So, I think I am actually going to skip out on that. But another ride that I was able to find, Rock and Tug. Uh, this is a Zamperla, Zamperla Rock and Tug. Um, gets through 600 people an hour. It, a very small kitty ride, basically a smaller version of their uh, disco coaster. Actually, I believe uh, the Rock and Tug came first, and the disco coaster is an enlarged version of this. But again, this is a this is a uh, a very popular ride, and I think it would do great. And one of the last rides for this website. This is a Zier, uh I think it's a ground mount, yep, a ground mount, uh, wave swinger. A lot of amusement parks have wave swingers, and they're very popular rides. They also don't take, at least from what I've been, at least what I know, they aren't, they don't take a lot of money to keep them running, so I feel like this would be a great addition. And the, the final ride for that website, this is a Hus Breakdance 4, so this, this is their fourth, fourth version, it's the same one as the Breakdance at, uh, uh, California's Great America, so this one was originally the last generation of the breakdance until the breakdance 5 was introduced but uh breakdancers are always uh good they can be good family rides as well as good thrill rides and uh a decently high capacity for a flat ride at 720 people an hour so and this one is a partial ground mount it says this one has no foundation so it's meant to be like a semi portable ride so i think i i am going to add this one here's another website uh, International Rides Management, I believe it's called. So this one has a couple of rides that I would possibly be able to add. So this one is 
a flashback ride, so uh, or a whip is what it's most mostly known as. This one was uh, at Hershey Park. This was their whip. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna add this one because it's none. Not many of these were produced, and the company is now out of business, so parts would be a pain in the ass to come by. So I was able to pull a few rides off of this last website. This I was able to pull three. So here is an Irely Spider. So this is the 18 car model. There are eight arms of two of uh, two tubs. So there's there's um 60, 16 tubs I think, and then. So 32 riders per cycle. These are really fun rides if run at their if run at uh, good speeds, like the one at Cedar Point is. That one is a uh, 32 tub model. This is just the smaller one. This is a Spider. The one at Cedar Point is the uh, the Monster model. But uh, I am I'm gonna add this one especially because it is a park mount. And the early ones, act, these early Spiders uh, are produced by a different company. I forget the same company that makes the. Uh, um, the cliffhanger rides so you can still get parts for them so this one i'm going to add the last one this is a zamperla endeavor so this one looks like it was it's uh the one from trimper rides i believe they have one otherwise it's, it, otherwise it's from uh, blue bayou and dixie landon if they have one because of the white become a boomerang in the background but the endeavors are really good rides they're uh big people eaters they in the uh they're, they're not too intense for kids to enjoy, but also thrilling enough for everybody else, so uh, this one is going to be a must-have. And one of two sites that we have left, this one is Interlink. So these this company is sells a lot of uh, bigger rides. They sold, uh, like, the Bat Clone that used to operate in Kuwait that's now going to India, and they also, uh, like, I think they had Speed the Ride for sale for a while. So here's one coaster that I would add, but I'm not going to because I kind of know how this one rides. So this one was the loop coaster that operated at C.J. Barrymore's in Michigan. Uh, it, it's Pinfari Looping Zyklon, and uh, I've, I've seen how this one runs, and it's not great. So I'm not going to add that. But there are two here that I am going to add. So this one is a Zamperla Windstorm, and that one is a uh, Schwarzkopf. Uh, looping, looping star, silver arrow, um, same model as Scorpion at Busch Gardens Tampa, but gonna look on this website a bit more to see if there's anything else, cause knowing me, but, uh, there is actually, so this one is, it says Preston and Barbieri, I don't think they made these, uh, wild mouse coasters, this one looks like a Zamperla one, or a LNT Systems coaster, uh, and then here is the last one I think I'm going to add. So that one, this one is a, if it'll load, it is a STC Rides uh, Moonraker. So these ones are actually decently rare. There's one that operates on the American Fair Circuit, owned by Bell City Amusements. And then there's a couple that operate over in Europe and South America. But, uh, I feel like, again, this would be a good crowd pleaser because it's a super rare ride. And, uh, if it'll... If it'll load, uh, there the ride tilts 90 degrees up like this, kind of like a uh, a standard like zero gravity or roundup ride would. But that one tilts to 45 degrees, I believe. Well, this one tilts to 90 degrees, so it it tilts vertically and it uh, it it I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's kind of like a uh, an enterprise ride, but the cars don't spin out. But uh, yeah, this one's gonna be an out. And I decided to go against with the, the Wild Mouse Coaster because those aren't being produced anymore and they're kind of hard to get parts for. But I'm going to add this uh, RC-103 Family Coaster. It is a Zamperla um, Windstorm Coaster, so the same model as the one down in Panama City Beach race at uh, Race City. So uh, these are decently thrilling rides but also family uh, family coaster at the same time so i think this will be a good addition and one of the final rides for the video this is going to be a schwarzkopf uh silver arrow coaster the same model as the one uh as scorpion at bush grinds tampa this one i believe operated at london castle in you in the uk as twist and i, I want to say twist and shout but i think that's wrong uh, i think it was actually called thunder loop or thunder loop express something like that but uh, this one is operating in Croatia, I believe, as Big Blue. So, but yeah, I'm going to add this one.
And this is the last site. This is Martin Meyer Used Amusement Rides. This, uh, I believe these people own, um, a traveling carnival in Europe. So, um, yeah. We're gonna see what they have. They usually have a decent amount of, like, uh, more rare rides that you wouldn't see. And you can see that, like, right off the bat. So here's a Huss Frisbee. This one, if you look at the picture, it looks like the one from uh, Nagashima Spa Land because there's their twin mouth, uh, wild mouse coaster. Again, I'm not going to add this one because it's a Huss and they don't make these anymore, so parts would be hard to come by. But uh, they have a junior coaster here, so this one is a Zimperla model. Um, I don't know... Uh, this one looks like it's from one of the uh, Trans Studio Parks in, what is it, Indonesia, I think? But, uh, yeah, I'm going to add this one because, uh, you know, the Vekoma, the Vekoma roller skaters are decent rides. And that will end uh, the ride browsing. So, to recap what we ended up coming up with for this uh, this challenge. For roller coasters, we had a minimum of four. We ended up coming up with five, if I did my math correctly. We came up with an SPF Rides uh, spinning coaster, a Schwarzkopf Jetstar 2, Zamperla Windstorm, a Schwarzkopf Silver Arrow, and a Vekoma roller skater. In the kitty and family categories, we had a minimum of six. We came up with a uh, San Antonio Roller Works Carousel, a Scrambler, a Skywheel, a Huss Pirate, a Zimperl, a Rock and Tug, a Zero Wave Swinger, a Huss Breakdance 4, and an Irely Spider. And then in the thrill Thrilling Flat Rides category, uh, we had a minimum of five. We ended up coming with coming up with a uh, ARM Rides uh, G-Force. Uh, Squadron 33 by Technical Park. This is their Aerobat model. Uh, Chance Ride Skydiver. A Hus Drop Tower. A uh, SNS Drop Tower. My bad. A Hus Troika. A Zimperla Endeavor. And SDC Moonraker. Uh, so that will end off this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe as it helps out the channel quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, guys.